Hello gamers, it's me Chickens, and today I'm going to be talking about the update, or the Rise of the Dead update 1.5.9 update. This update introduces a new event with a new boss, two new missions, and one of the worst mechanics ever added to this game. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into this update. The Trillium is a server-wide boss with 5 million HP. It drops a 2022 Christmas present. To summon the boss, you need to have someone dig up a tree sapling with a shovel. It has two attacks, tree spike and stun lock you until you die green vine attack. I recommend using high DPS guns obviously, with a personal favorite of mine being a minigun with incinerary rounds, and using a gun with frostbite mod is a good finisher. With it, you can deal up to 250,000 damage as a final blow, abusing its borderline useless 5% insta kill stat. The snowballs also deal bonus damage of 1% based on the boss's current health. So ha um, so they're very good at the start of a fight as you can deal around 42,000 damage per hit, but at the end of the fight they deal more damage to your mental health as they can deal as low as 45 damage. It is important to keep your armor up during the fight since the boss's attacks have short cooldowns. I like to use the minigun in third person to keep a trail of zombies chasing me. But when I need an armor boost, when I need an armor boost, I quickly have them walk in front of me and I crouch to get my armor back as the bulls will just automatically hit them. If you stand still during a green spike attack, they do minimal damage or no damage. And it seems the faster you move while you're in their effective radius, the quicker you die. So avoid using the military boots and the cowboy boots. The Christmas present 2022 drops four new cosmetics. The Winterfest Santa hat, the Winterfest Mercs knee pad, the red and green Xmas sweater, and the yellow and blue Xmas sweater. The present also drops a snowball, which for a joke weapon isn't actually that bad, dealing 45 damage, and also having a fast fire rate and unlimited ammo. The Winterfest skin is earned by giving Santa Claus two 2022 presents. The skin can be removed by resetting the texture but cannot be reapplied. It is an animated skin and looks very cool. The skin also has the pattern permanent effect like dev skins. New Bandit and Rat Missions In the mission Double Cross, if you choose to pull the lever, you will unlock the Rat version, and if you don't pull the lever, you will unlock the Bandit version. You can do both by replaying the mission Double Cross, though I do recommend doing the Rat version first so you don't die over and over to the rats on Harbor's top floor when trying to complete the quests. I'm not going to play through both missions for time's sake, but there's a video on how to beat both of them in the description. Not made by me, of course, because if I upload on a semi-frequent basis, my head will explode. No, this is not an excuse for my extreme laziness paired with my perfectionism. Can we all get a quick round of applause for Gunrust? Uh, no? Well, okay. This is really cool, right guys? Uh, right? We all wanted this. We all love RNG gimmicks, right? Uh, like, like anyone? Did, 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 did anyone want this? Uh, well, okay, this is awkward. 
Uh, well, anyways, Weapon Conditions is an awesome game-changing gimmick where you randomly get a number given to your guns. After hearing this, if you can't contain your excitement, you just surely are a miserable person. Gun rust, like the cancer it is on this game, comes in five stages. Factory new, mint condition, ideal model, heavily worn, and battle tested. If, anyways, I don't feel like talking about this any longer.
And last, but uh, not quite least, but still pretty low on the tier list, um, we have resource packages. You can unlock them for metal, um, cloth, wood, and glass. The wood and glass ones are unlocked from the bandit only shop, I believe. Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't really care for checking them. They cost 200, 200 perks to unlock each blueprint, which is nuts. Thank goodness they're permanently unlocked. And 25 to like craft each crate. To craft a crate takes 25 or 200 of that resource. You basically just store it, which means you can store up to 400 um resources of those items in one slot. Game changing. But it also allows you to trade with other people. But sadly, it has gold tax. So overall, pretty expensive. I think gold tax just get removed. The 25 perks is enough of a penalty. But anyways, enough about that. Okay, I don't even know what gameplay to put over this. Like, whatever. Anyways, critique time. Hi gamers, it's me, Chickens, for some quick criticism on the update. Overall, I think the boss is pretty cool. It's a better feature than just grinding coal all day long. But um, I think it has too many stun locks. Two out of two, two out of its two attacks, um, stun lock you basically. Because you'll get stuck in the thorns and just die, or you'll get spammed by the tree spear things. So, anyways, that's a bit dumb. I wish it would just do more like I don't know, shoot thorn missiles at you or something like that, not just direct attacks. But anyways, gun rust also is really stupid. It should get removed in general. Like, it's just another RNG slot machine gimmick mechanic. Like, it just sucks. Because, like, if you picture Rise of Death, it's like an elastic band, right? You you got your three main points, right? You want to upgrade your guns. You want, or, no, you want to unlock your guns, right? You want to beat missions, and you want to level up. What happens is that's an elastic band, right? You can stretch it, you can whatnot, and it, it fits your playstyle. It fits how you like to play the game. But what happens is when Chrono stretches this band by adding in gun rust and adding in these kind of dumb mechanics, it just stretches a, like it just stretches the game. And if he keeps adding that, he's not actually increasing the strength in the band. And soon enough, it's just gonna snap, and the whole game's just gonna fall apart. Um, and like Chrono needs to realize the fact that adding more grinding just pushes people away from the game. Like for example, if I want to play a fun survival game right now, I'll just go play Apocalypse Rising. If I want to play a game where I can be creative. I'll just go play islands. Like, Chronos, like, Rise of the Dead doesn't have a monopoly in these, like, sections. Rise of the Dead needs to get its acting gear and figure out what makes Rise of the Dead fun. What makes people play this game? And strengthen that. Add more replayable in that category. And it's created, or it's customization and being creative with your guns. What Gunrust does is restricts you and leaves that to a slot machine gam like, gamble. It's literally just gambling. It's a loot box, but for what amount of rust you have on your gun. Like, I wish it would be given a cool, like, repair mechanic where you can repair parts of the gun. Or, like, just anything other than just another slot machine. Because what it does is all these people who already grinded all these tweaks on these really good, like, guns and stuff like that, they can't take those tweaks and put it on their new versions. So all that work is just gone. If Chrono is, like, continues to add the stuff like that, I'm just quitting the game. Like, I'm not putting up with more RNG. The game already has enough of that, and it doesn't need more. So... Gunrust, I believe, just remove it, or actually go back to it, update it, and make it more fun, and like just not just RNG. Um, and lastly, I think the rat quests, or like the rat and bandit quests, they need to have like a double agent mechanic where you're like a rat enforcer in like the ship or the double cross mission, instead of like a choose good ending, choose bad ending, kind of dumb, lazy, kind of I don't know. That's kind of too harsh for it. I feel like it's just kind of boring. Um, because then again, if you want to do the new quest, because Chronos is going to expand into these two quest lines, which is really great. I really can't wait to see that. But you're going to have to replay all the missions again, just to play the new one. And then restart your progress, play through the other side's missions, and then restart your progress when the next mi update happens, and then just keep doing that. Wouldn't it be cool if you can accept both quests' missions at the same time, because both sides think you're an agent for them when you're really an agent for the other side, right? Like, they think you're a spy for, like... You're a bandit spy, for example. Bandits think you're a spy for them, but rats think you're a spy for them, too. So, like, it adds kind of a cool tension. Even though that'd be cool with, like, stealth missions where you don't want to be caught or something like that. I think just that should be expanded upon other than just hit E to choose your side, basically. So, anyways, that's enough for this update. Um, thanks for watching. Overall, I would say this update's pretty good. A 7 out of 10, but gun rust and stuff like that really holds it back. But, anyways, see you later. Bye.